A bill set to regulate building structures statewide is now fueling concerns over safety on the local level. WJCL's Kyle Jones is here to explain why some hope Governor Deal won't sign it into law. Kyle. Well, Cassidy, we spoke with one mayor as well as a former legislator who says the bill puts the public at risk for fires, hurricane damage, and loss of local control. Here's why. HB 876 would allow the use of wood in building construction and prohibit local municipalities from ordering that other material like concrete be used instead. Some argue that takes away local control. Large buildings like five-story apartment complexes could be made completely of wood and is a major concern for fire safety. One mayor told us Thus, some fire departments may struggle to find the right equipment to tackle a fire of that size. And lastly, hurricane safety. Municipalities on the coast may want to require some buildings use other materials that can hold up to hurricane force winds. Here's how it could impact the historic district. If they want to go above the minimum requirements of the national building codes, they ought to be able to. I mean, we have a historic district. They may say buildings going in the middle of of historic structures should be more fireproof so that a fire can't spread and potentially destroy a historic building right next door. Now we also spoke with Rusty Paul, mayor of Sandy Springs, Georgia. He says a group of mayors will meet today to discuss possible conflicts between this bill and the right under Georgia's local decisions on building codes. In the studio, Kyle Jones, WJCL 22 News.